Welcome to Puffer Assist channel. Today we will see how to create records into CDS using patch function. For this demo purpose, I have created an entity called registrations. In order to proceed further, we need to add the entity to this canvas application. Let's get started. In the canvas application on the left navigation, we need to select the data control to select the required respective entities. For this demo, we need registration entity. So I am going to select the registration entity. Once the registration entity is added, we need to add the required controls on the screen to allow user to submit the record. For that, I am going to take label to show the field name. I am going to update it text to name. And I am going to increase the size to readability. We can copy paste the control. So I am going to add around five to six fields. So I am going to copy pasting the controls. We can directly do control C or else we can copy and paste the control. Since the size of the name is. So we are going to change the width of this control to fit the text. So I am going to copy this again to show some more fields on the UI. We are good with labels now. Let's get add the text inputs to allow user to provide their inputs. And we are following the same method to copy paste the controls for the respective labels. Since my interested in field is not a text field, I am not going to add a text control for this. I am going to add a drop down from input controls. I'm going to adjust X axis now. I'm going to remove the default values for the text inputs. So since this is option set, we cannot be directly able to get the details to read the details of an option set we need to use choices function and the name of the column so in our case it is interested in so i am going to add the specific fields name let us wait for a moment to load the value So if you observe the details are added now let us add the button to perform patch operation So to have a better readability, I am, I am going to update its names so that while we are using this in patch control, patch functionality, it helps us to identify the inputs.
now let us write the patch function select the button and on select operation let's write patch and we need to select the respective data source in our case it is registration so select the registrations defaults registration or defaults of a data source is an optional we can pass it or we can i mean it is not required to pass or not we can remove this also passing this particular default registration helps us to fill in the default values for fields which are available in cds now let us add the columns ext name dot text email address txt email dot text comma interested in dot selected dot value next city and finally state so we missed out a curly braces now we are good let us test this so once submitted if we want to submit another we need to clear this particular control so let us add clear functionality also clear or reset anything button clear so reset txt name email the reset functionality accepts the control name so we are going to provide the control name let us test this so currently we don't have any data and registration entity now let us test this so i have created another entity to show the list of registration submitted so let us quickly add a list screen to see the list of records submitted in registration entity let's choose registrations 
for the gallery and we'll see let us take name to validate and if you observe just now we created a registration record with the power assist name and an email with pa at the red gmail.com but yes once we submitted we haven't received any confirmation to know whether this particular patch functionality succeeded or not. In order to confirm or validate that, we can implement an option. We, we can use an out of the box functionality called errors to know whether that particular patch is failed or succeeded. So in order to proceed, let us assign this particular output to a variable I am going to name it as result so what I am going to do here is I am going to assign this whole patch functionality output to a variable called result so based upon the results outcome I am going to validate this particular patch functionality is succeeded or not This is the function that we are going to use to confirm this particular patch functionality is succeeded or not. Here what we are doing is we are just validating this particular result is blank or not. If it is not blank and the registration, the data source is having any errors or not. If it is not having any errors and it is not blank, we are updating a variable message to show as patch succeeded with the registration number registration number is an auto generated number whenever a new record is submitted to CDS and in the else condition we are showing this particular patch functionality is failed let us show that in order to show that we will take a label and we'll add it here for the confirmation purpose and I am going to update its properties probably 18 and I am going to assign this as message to show the variable that we just now used on submit functionality let us test the scenario again so I am going to take border to show the label is available here and I am going to click on clear to clear the data so I am going to choose this time I am going to choose power bi and I am going to click on submit And if you observe this particular label is a dynamic content which is updated once this particular patch functionality is succeeded this way we can able to achieve or show the confirmation to end user that a, a patch function is successfully submitted or failed and if we go to the list a new record got updated or created into the CDS. 
In this demo, we have seen how to create records into CDS using patch functionality and how to validate a patch functionality is succeeded or not. Thank you.